So I was watching a Young Turks video, and they were talking about how Twitter and certain other social media sites are being criticized for, in certain cases, basically agreeing to a regime's or dictator's uh, govern uh, request to actually censor their content, at least in that country, and to remove certain material that the government of the day finds offensive. Um, so the first thing I want to say is I want to just define quickly what I consider censorship and what I consider not censorship. So people often they're on a channel and they get blocked, they can't make a comment and they cry censorship. Now I think that's kind of um, if you don't have very good reason for blocking someone, that's a douchey way of uh, getting rid of their arguments. Um, so it's definitely not fostering good debate and it's making the discussion one-sided um, so it's an unfair kind of way to uh, bias uh, popular opinion on what you're saying in your favor but it's not censorship to me to me censorship means it has to be some kind of a medium that's meant to actually be open to people to express their opinion and then you have to be removing certain opinions out of that pool Whereas on a YouTube channel or say in a newspaper, if they don't publish your comment, if it's a right-leaning or left-leaning newspaper and they don't like what you're writing and they don't publish it, to me that's not censorship. And you know what to expect when you read that newspaper or go to that channel anyways. Um, so that's just kind of douchey. Um, but that's why I would consider what Twitter does to be censorship um, because it's meant to be this open medium of communication where anyone can come and say something and so they're removing certain voices from that pool because someone doesn't like them um, and now the argument in the Young Turks video that kinda inspired me to do this video was that um, that's you know that's probably better than if they got blocked altogether so at least people some people can be getting out their opinions um, and so they cooperate with the government to uh, keep those opinions um, available uh, and obviously to make money. Um, and I very much disagree with the first part of that statement that somehow you should be kowtowing to governments and cooperating with dictators uh, and censors in order to ensure that at least some content remains available to the rest of the people. Now, it's not a black and white issue. I'm not saying there can't be contexts where that would make sense or where you would have certain um, arrangements which might not be what you would usually do in order to s ensure continued access to people. But once you get to the point of, say, deleting questionable content whenever the government asks for it or kind of blocking a certain part of a debate, I think that's worse than the service disappearing altogether. Now, why is that? Well, if the service disappears altogether, if you go to, say, Twitter and you get a big page, Twitter has been blocked, it's not available in your country, you know you're being censored. You know that people are being censored. You know your government uh, is not allowing people to speak their mind. And um, that's to me, is a good thing. Whereas... If Twitter is still available, but they're just silently removing some of the content that some of the users are putting out there that hold certain opinions, that's much worse. Now all of a sudden you're in a situation where the people that access Twitter get this false view of their country and of the opinions in their country, which is the government whitewashed version. Suddenly Twitter isn't only... Um, isn't isn't reflecting that it's not only like somehow assuaging the dictator it's giving their version of events rather than a balanced version of events or at least not actually giving any version of event it's basically become a propaganda tool just by excluding those views i mean it's like if you you know if you claim to be to be having an honest debate open to all comers and you remove all of the critical voices from one side if you're still making that claim that it's this open debate, then that's really kind of a false, uh, false thing to do. It's an unethical thing to do, and it's censorship in that case to me. And so that's why I think that 
you know, these corporations should not be doing this. Obviously, they want to be doing this because they can make money with it. So then we as, I guess, the majority consumers, the people that they care about the most, we have a lot of power in that sense, we in the Western world, should not be um, accepting this at all, I don't think. Um, you know, Twitter, Google did it. Um, I don't know if they still do it, but they have Google. I think they still do. They have Google China, which omits certain results. I'm pretty sure that's still up and omitting results uh, regarding the Tiananmen, Tiananmen Square massacre and so on. I don't think we should be, you know, I, I don't think we should be accepting of that. I don't think we should cut them a break because at least people can still access other content. I think the fact that they're allowing people to silently, uh, to silently remove certain voices is in fact in many ways more damaging than if access were removed altogether. I mean, the other thing there is, if access were removed altogether, then people would be aware that there's something wrong and they could actually go and seek out other sources that are not compromised, or they could say tunnel if they were tech savvy enough, or do various other things. Whereas if they get this censored version of this website, they're not aware that there's a problem and they won't seek out any other kind of um, information sources to complement that. And they'll be stuck with the government sanctioned, um, watered down, um, whitewashed version. And that's not good. I don't think that's a good thing. As I said, there's no black and white issue in the universe almost. So it's something where case by case, you you know you consider maybe there's some tiny little thing that that government wants done that's within the realm of something that would be acceptable but in almost every case i think it's going too far and it's a bad thing and i mean you know if <laughs> i think it almost makes sense to just make it an absolute because if you give corporations any wriggle room they'll wriggle and they'll say well you know we thought based on the circumstances that this was okay even when it's usually not so I would say just complain, um, don't let them get away with it, don't let Twitter or Google or whatever censor, I mean, don't let them, it's not like we can really change it, I guess we can exert some pressure and hope for the best, but at least like, I, you know, I'm, I think people should be aware that there's an issue. Alright, see y'all later.